Hi and welcome to another video from Quattro Tech Cars. Here today we present this really well cared for Passat Estate. It's the Tudis TDI 150 PS GT with the DSG gearbox. It's finished in the really quite rare manganese grey. This car's only had two owners from new. We took it in part exchange from the current owner. It's always been looked after by Volkswagen as detailed in the advert. And it's the latest GT specification, so it has those LED headlamps, which was the noticeable change in the GT spec. Let's go and look through the inside. So if we start off in the boot area, hopefully you can see in good condition, not had a heavy life at all. Just a few features on the boot. You've got the quick release for the back seats just there. Some useful bag hooks just there and at the back as well. Got a full-size alloy spare, spare wheel as well. There's a through load, so that'll drop independently of the 60-40 split as well. Another quick release just there, and a 12-volt socket just there as well. Nice LED lighting detailing just on the rear lights there. Got those 18-inch Oxford-style alloys. Nice bit of LED lighting just across the inlays throughout the interior. And it's got the black Alcantara, just to show you there are actually just brush marks on the seat, so not stained, no marks, rips or tears. It's not been a smoker's car. It's been kept overall in really good condition. Of course, with the Passat GT, you get a fantastic panoramic sunroof, which is in the open position at the moment with the blind back. And we'll show you the how that functions in a moment. And just lastly, you've got a rear temperature control just there as well. So as we come to the front, we've got heated folding door mirrors there. And then you've got semi-electric seats. You've got a manual height adjuster. You've got electric rake on the back seat just there. Electric lumbar support. And this one just does the tilt of the base of the seat, which hopefully you can see there. You've also got an extra leg adjustment just there. And like with the back seats we've shown you, these are just purely brush marks on there as well. Just before we step inside, we've got the, as we mentioned, the sunroof. So to do the blind, you just simply press that button to close the blind independently. You can see that coming across. And the roof is just this button here. So we just press that to close. You can see again, those coming together. We can do them independently. If I just put the blind back there, you'll see. We can also do a tilt function on the sunroof as well, which I'll just show you. There you go, so you can see that nice tilt function just there. So as so we step inside the cabin, we've got the automatic lights just there, multi-function steering wheel with the adaptive cruise control just on there, that nice digital dash display. If I just close the door here. And then again, so you can choose the various different views if you wanted to, do I scrolling across there? You can choose the views and that just changes what you see in those two there. So if we just change that, for example, just to gear and speed, you can see that just changes there. And we tab across just for the main view. If we just put it to the navigation, I'll just quickly show you what that looks like. So you can only have the map either on there or on the display. So you can't have it on both. So if we just go to here then press map, you'll see it disappears off that and comes up there with that nice big display. Again, if you just press the OK button, you can make those dials slightly bigger and the navigation smaller. So again, a really nice touch on that digital dash. So just come back over to the nice touch screen here. We've got the DAB digital radio. We've got media with various different inputs you can choose from. Bluetooth audio being the BT audio there. Normal Bluetooth just there. As mentioned, the navigation, if we just switch the map back over, you'll see there. App Connect, which gives you uh, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So great for any audio streaming, Google Maps, etc. which again, we've shown you in still images. You've got the car system there and then the menu with all of the options on there. Just show you the parking sensor, which are front and rear. If we just manually put them on by pressing the button just there. And you've got various different modes you can do set for the driving. So we just press that there. You can see you've got Eco, Normal, 
sport and individual. If I just go to change on the individual, you can see the elements you can actually change. And ACC just being the adaptive cruise control on there. So as we come down here, we've got heated front seats on both sides just there and the dual zone climate control as well. DSG gearbox, keyless go on there. Modes we already briefly discussed. Then we've got the normal handbrake and the automatic handbrake just there. 12 volt socket, cup holders, both sets of keys with the car and all the paperwork. And again, locking one nut and another USB and aux in just there. As mentioned, this car's only had two owners. We took it in part exchange. We'll mechanically check the car. We'll be servicing it prior to it going out. Six months warranty, six months roadside assistance. Please do get in touch so we can talk through this car in more detail or to arrange an appointment or test drive. Thanks for watching.